I'm aware of the recent lockdowns in Australia and New Zealand, so this video tip is really gonna be for docs there and how to help them in a couple of key areas in your practice. Now, having said that, I also wanna let you know we're gonna be doing a virtual workshop on November the 21st and 22nd just for docs in that part of the world. So if you're interested, I'll post some links where you can find out some more details. But again, that's November 21st and 22nd. Primarily, what I want to talk about is a few areas you can use right now that if you apply this information can dramatically help your practice on Monday. One of them is with your new patients. You see, as a new patient comes in, sometimes you have these tough blokes, these people that don't want to give up the information. Predominantly, it's men. And what they'll do is they'll come in with symptoms or aches and pains, and they don't really want to give you all the information. So the necessary equation here is that we've got to get them to give more than they want or from the influence literature, this is what's known as unpacking. We've got to unpack the tough people and kind of pull them out because they've been minimizing the info, miniaturizing the injuries, and inevitably, if they don't see this as a big problem, they're not going to make a big commitment. In other words, they're going to miss appointments, come in for one or two adjustments and say, I tried the chiropractor, it just didn't work. And I don't want that for you. I don't want it in your community and chiropractic deserves better. So one of the best things you can use is honestly fear of worsening, which is if they had a symptom or a problem that we can talk about it going there in the future in reference to how bad it has been in the past. So you kind of have to dig a little bit, find out where these problems have been, unpack it, bring that to the surface, and then we can utilize a past problem in a fear of worsening. In other words, you kind of put it out into the future and say, look, if we don't want it to get that bad again, we should do something now, wouldn't you agree? And whatever that level of commitment is, it's a right now start time that you need to establish with your day one new patients. Now, I'm a big fan of putting people on care plans. And the reason is because a lot of times chiropractors are not good at talking about finances. So if they're not good at finances, then a lot of times what happens is they wind up doing a butcher job of it and it really creates a problem for the patients in the practice. Said differently, the chiropractors that hate to sell, sell the most. In other words, you're selling next visit or next week's visits. And instead of just talking about health and healing, we get caught up into this cycle of selling next week and next week. And if you have an off day or you're under caffeinated, you didn't get your piccolo, then unfortunately, you don't even make recommendations for future care and your practice takes a huge dip. If you do this right in a Socratic way, I'm telling you, you can create buyers. There's no push, grind, or sell. And I see that in some chiropractic Facebook groups. It's awful. If you create buyers, actually people enjoy the process. They enjoy the experience. And you talk about finances one time, never again. You put them on a care plan, and then people show up, and all we do is talk about their health. And you decide the length of the care plans. It's totally up to you. But if we can talk about finances once, then you don't need to be talking about that and you just get into that healing vibe, that love mode as we go through it. And the third point I wanna give you is, as you do this accurately and appropriately, I think what really comes to the surface is that everybody leaves with their dignity. Look, nobody likes to talk about the downside, but if people don't take your recommendations, it's important they go back into your community with a positive attitude about your practice. They go back in the community and have good things to say about you. The way you make that happen is they have to leave with their dignity, your series of questions, your sequencing through your day one and into your report of findings has to be done in a way, I think, that they're not gonna leave you negative social media reviews. They're not gonna put things online that could work against you in the future because the truth is those things don't go away. And I think the social influence and the feeling of public opinion is mattering more as we go forward. And that's true in any country, not just Australia, not just New Zealand. This is true anywhere. We have more savvy people going into you services like chiropractic care. And the last bonus bit I will give you is, I know there's been some serious lockdowns, specifically in Victoria. I know New South Wales had some tight restrictions as well. I've seen some of the funny caricatures about what's going on in Melbourne, and the truth is it's not funny. Um, crazy times all over the globe. But in light of the sensitivity of what is going down and with social distancing, this is a really good time to be smart about how you do your report of findings. In other words, the context of it. And if you're doing group reports, I've had a number of private messages from docs 
In other countries, similar to the sensitivity as Australia, specifically Victoria, and what they're finding is group reports are getting them turned into the boards to their regulatory bodies because they're not social distancing. They're doing the report of findings as a group report. And I feel some of that stuff should have died in the 80s. Look, this is the time to learn to do one-on-one, knee-to-knee group report of findings in a way that isn't a mass message, but it's individual and sitting side by side, never need to knee across from them. Even your body position is important that you sit next to your patients and do this individually. Don't do a group report and then jump into a private room. These are docs that I know of in other countries that have already been turned into their boards for doing group reports. You can't do that. So be smart, make some changes in your practice now. People are highly sensitive to this. And it's for that reason, November 21st and 22nd, that we are doing a virtual Elements of Opening Workshop. Now I've never done this for docs in another country, but I've got a lot of great friends, phenomenal chiropractors um, that have really been affected by the changes. And we're gonna make some exceptions. I know you can't leave the country. It's not gonna be easy for a while, in my humble opinion. So we're gonna do it virtually. We're gonna come to you. But the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna have a location in each state because role playing is essential. The way I teach is we're gonna present the material and then you've gotta create the new neoplasticity of the brain. You've gotta create the new muscle memory. And the only way to do that is to have a role play partner. So we're gonna set up locations in each state that docs will need to get to. We'll do the virtual teaching, but then you have to live role play with a partner who will course correct and help you through this. And then we get back on point. It's the only way I'm willing to do this. Otherwise, the material suffers. You don't get the results, and I just won't compromise on that. So if you're interested, for Australians and New Zealand docs only, we do have a location in New Zealand, let me know, purchase the link, and then what we'll do is we'll give you the location, one per state, so you're not gonna go more than a couple of hours at most, hopefully, to be able to make this happen. And the truth is, this is a way we can teach it in, in a format that docs will get the proper results. You see, it's kind of like talking you through how to hit a golf ball. I can give you all the words and the information, but until you pick up a club and, and physically take the swings, it's not gonna improve your game. You kind of need to go to the driving range. You need to go and do the activity, which is why we're gonna do this virtually, but still have you role play it and then we can give you tweaks and feedback, and that really becomes important. So it's a virtual elements of opening for docs in New Zealand and Australia specifically, and uh, we've been super active on our end here in the States, kind of doubling the efforts in tough times. We've actually been able to raise over $15,000 for ASRF just through some efforts in docs in our Level Up group that choose to follow these systems because we're really helping docs not only see a bigger volume in a vitalistic model, but a kind of a bad word sometimes chiropractors don't like to talk about is their profitability. And it's super important. And sometimes docs get their egos involved. You're not running a charity, you are running a business. This is professional training that we will give you. So you do not sound like a used car salesman. You can be a health professional and do this in a way that the finances, the day one and the day two from the elements of opening really sets you up into lifetime care. Your re-signs should be higher. And above all, if people say no, you should be worried about how the negative impact is and minimize that by letting them leave with their dignity. Look, there's a lot we cover, elements of opening. Click the link, there's some other information on the website, uh, but it is changing practices in Australia and we just want you to be one of them. We're doing it virtually in a format where you've got to go somewhere because I don't want the information to be compromised. I want your results. Cheers and I hope to see you November 21st, 22nd on a screen in Australia so then you can role play it.